What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Fabier, and today I'm going to show you guys the best fades at NBA 2K24, the meta fades, the comp fades. Uh, NBA 2K League pros do not want you to know this, so make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. We're about to hit 10,000 subscribers. I love you guys. So right away, I'm going to go in order. I'm going to talk about 1's builds, twos, the 1's court, 2's court, 3's court, and then pro amp. So we're going to go in order. Uh, 1's and 2's court is first, the best fade for 1's and 2's court. So this is our build right here. We're at six six. When you're playing ones and twos as a guard, you want to make sure you have a six six, six seven, six eight. You want to have one of those, right? So you want to have a six six to six eight. So for my six six and six eight players, uh, the best fade on the game for the ones and twos court, best fade is Devin Booker, as you guys see here. Devin Booker is the best fade on the game. If you're a six six on the ones and twos court. And we'll see right here. All you need for Devin Booker is under 6'10. And we'll show you why Devin Booker is number one for the ones and twos court. Make sure you guys stick to the end of the video, guys, because these fades change a lot. It's so many different fades. So the reason why Devin Booker is one and two is because what people do in the ones and twos court a lot is they do this left, right, pro dribble style cheese. They just left, right in place, pro dribble style. And then once you bite one side, they fade to the strong hand, right? So I'm a lefty. So when I go left, I get the best fade. But people just do this left-right cheese. They do left-right with the pro dribble style, and then they fade you. Boom. So be careful with that. You guys can add this to your game and do whatever. But just know that this is what people like to do. People like to use this fade right here. Uh, fade to the uh, strong side. It drags them. You could barely get contest. So if you're a lefty, go left, and you get this fade right here. It's really hard to stop. It looks, it, it looks like it could get boxed, but it's really hard to box because it drags you. And it's easy at time. So people just do left, right, left, right. And then they go wide off the left, right. Boom. It's hard to guard all that. So I'm going to try comboing up. I'm going to do this, this, this. People people like, what is going on? And then boom, you just go left right there. So we're going to see right. We're going to go right with it, with the Devin Booker. I'm going to do one move. Boom. On the left, right. And... It's still a decent fade to the right. You can go both sides with it, guys. It's really good going both sides. You could go left or right, but the left is just so much cheesier. But, yeah, going to the right is easy, too. See? That's just easy work. Uh, yeah, the, the Devin Booker fade is really broken. It's insane. It's insane. Devin Booker is insane. I think it's only con is its front fade. So, the, it, let's see how its front fade looks right here. Its front fade... Nah, it's front phase not even bad either. So, yeah, Devin Booker is good going all different directions. Going forward, uh, yeah, it's making me do a layup. But you could go forward with it. You could go left with it. You could go right with it. Devin Booker is really good. Yeah, so this is your ones and twos floater right here. Now, if you're a bigger player, so if you're a bigger player, uh, I would say if you're a 6'8 big man, if you're a big man, I would go with Kobe. So there's a lot of people that play Pro-Am. So this is for like Pro-Am, threes, uh, maybe twos. I don't know. Uh, twos, if you're a bigger player, you could do Booker. But I notice all the bigger comp players, they use Kobe. When they're playing Pro-Am or they're playing threes or something like that, they use Kobe. So six, uh, co to get Kobe, you got to be at least 6'5 and 6'10 and under. So we're going to try Kobe out right here. So if you're a bigger player, remember that. If you're like 6'8", you're a bigger player. Uh, put on Kobe Bryant if you're a tall player. So boom, we're gonna see Kobe right here. Kobe Bryant is pretty decent. We mistimed it, you know. I don't really like Kobe on like smaller guards, but it's it's all right. It's pretty good. It's pretty good fade. I like this when I'm on my like power forward builds or center builds. You can just do the Kobe fade. It's pretty good if you're a taller player, but if you're shorter, I, I wouldn't really recommend it. So. Kobe going to the left is really good. Going to the right is really good. We're going to see his front fade. How does his front fade look? His front fade is not that great. I don't really like his front fade. His front fade is kind of bad in my opinion. I don't really like it. We're going to try it again. Let's make it let's get a layup. But, yeah, I don't really like his front fade, though. I don't know what to think about it. Yeah, it's, it's not that great. But, yeah, you could go left with Kobe. You could go right with Kobe. It's like a worse version of Booker. But a lot of big players like it. A lot of bigger players like it, like the power forwards and the centers. Uh, I see some locks use it. But, yeah, if you're running a lot of ones and twos, I would stick with Devin Booker. Devin Booker's cheesy. But Kobe Bryant isn't that bad either. You could, you could, It's all preference. 
I like Devin Booker personally. I think Devin Booker's better, but you also can go with Kobe. Now, if you play a lot of Pro-Am, the best fade for Pro-Am by far. Uh, so when I play with my little guard, I use this fade right here. Best fade by far. Best fade by far. If you're playing a lot of Pro-Am, guys, a lot of Pro-Am, it's Pro-2. Pro-2 is the best fade on the game. If you plan on playing a lot of Pro-Am, if you plan on playing on a short guard, Pro-2 is the best fade on the game. Trust me. Trust me on that. When I play threes or Pro-Am, I, I use Pro-2 on my little guard, on my big guards. You guys see I use Devin Booker. Uh, on my center, I use Kobe. So I'm all over the place. I'm all over... I'm all over the place, but right here, uh, I think, w let me see, right here, boom, Pro 2, so Pro 2 is really fast, the thing that makes Pro 2 really broken, why comp players and league players love Pro 2, it's, fr it's his front fade, so the front fade is really fast, like, uh, if there's good defense on you, they're running you off the three-point line, you'll notice a lot of comp players, they just midi fade forward, because it's so fast, people could barely get contest on you. So, comp players really love Pro 2 because of the front fade. The front fade is really broken. You could just step into front fades and green it. You'll notice, if you run a comp player or a league player off the three-point line, their go-to move is the front fade, the Pro 2 front fade. So, you'll see a lot of Pro 2 front fades. That's the meta. That's the glitch, guys. Learn how three hunt. Learn how to be a good three hundred. But when they run you off the three point line, you could just do pro two front fade. It's really fast. They can't contest it. That's the glitch right there. And what makes this uh, fade really good too? You could go left to right with it too. So going to the left is really fast. As you guys see right there, uh, we're gonna do the left right cheese. We're gonna do this. Boom. And then we're gonna go left. The left fade is really really good. Remember, this is all about R two R two guys. We're holding R two. Uh, hold the turbo button. So we're going right. We're going right with it, and you see the right fade is really fast also. So the right fade is really good also. Remember, I'm holding right trigger the whole time. I'm running the whole time. So holding right trigger the whole time. Boom. The right side fade is good too. So trust me, guys. If you guys are playing a lot of Pro-Am, 5v5 Pro-Am, or you're playing a little guard, Pro 2 is the best. I see locks and power forwards and shooting guard like every position in 5v5 pro am uses pro 2 but it's weird how this 2k is because i can't use pro 2 in ones or twos because pro 2 just feels trash in the stage it just feels terrible but in pro am pro 2 is the best fade i think in 2k history it's literally broken pro 2 is nice i love pro 2 and pro am uh show this to your friends make sure everyone's rocking pro 2 they run you off the three-point line or something just do a front fade going forward. Uh, it's an easy fade. No one could guard it. So just trust me on that. Easy front fade. Pro 2 is the best front fade of the game. That's what everyone runs. All the best players run Pro 2 fade. Just trust me on that. They run you off the three-point line. Just front fade forward. That's all you got to do. As good left, right, front fades, all that. So to break it down, my 1s and 2s fade, the best fade on the game for 1s and 2s court is Devin Booker. Devin Booker is really good. If you're a taller player and you play a lot of 1s, 2s, 3s, and you're a taller player, I'll put Kobe Bryant on. And if you play Pro-Am, it doesn't matter what position you are. If you play Pro-Am, put on Pro-2. Pro-2 is really good for 5v5 Pro-Am. So with all these fades, make sure you're holding the right trigger, guys, when you're fading. And, yeah, that's all it is. So I just showed you guys the three best fades on the game. These are the only fades you need. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Fab, and I'm out.